How valuable is Sunspot and is Forge even necessary for this Extreme X-Men team? In this video, we're taking the four-piece team of Nightcrawler, Cyclops, Gambit, and Sunspot into these Incursion 2 raids to see how well they do. And if you're ready for all that Valley Club, then you know what to do. Find that like button and let's go smash it! And welcome back to the Valley Flying channel. I am Valley Flying and I hope you're having a great day. In this video, we are testing out this Extreme X-Men team, a low-level Sunspot, a low-level Nightcrawler to see how well they do in these Incursion 2 raids. But if this is your first time here in the channel, hit that subscribe button for more great Marvel Strike Force content. At least five Marvel Strike Force videos per week on the channel. Usually there's a lot more. We have gameplay videos, question and answer videos, reveal videos, everything to help your experience in Marvel Strike Force. Let's get right into the game. This is where the Extreme X Men team is right now. They're going to use in the Incursion 2 raids. We do have a pretty maxed out Apocalypse that we're going to use as a fifth for this team. But as you can see, we don't have Forge unlocked. We tried to unlock him with orbs. We didn't get lucky on any of them, only pretty much green orbs orbs and uh, 75 out of 100 here so we don't have the unlock but we do have nightcrawler unlocked four stars four red stars gear tier 17 level 95 we have all the t4s on all of his moves and we have him as a raider level 5 iso 8 blue all right sunspot we weren't able to put as much on him he's only gear tier 16 we ran out of astral energy to get more gear on him we are uh, don't have him at level 95 yet and we only have him as a level four iso eight blue we do have him as striker to make use of this uh this charges that he's gonna get so we could get more ability energy gambit pretty maxed out all the t4s level 95 gear tier 18 one diamond on this character and cyclops pretty maxed out as well he's also raider level five viso eight blue all the t4s except for the basic one diamond and the final character that we're taking into these raids is apocalypse all the t4s level 95 gear tier 18 Level five, ISO eight, blue, and five, seven red, seven gold stars. Let's take these characters into the raids right now. See how well they do at the low levels of this extreme X-Men without Forge. All right, here we are going into the first node. We have a very, very small Nightcrawler, very, very small sunspot. We can do this with Archangel in this spot. Let's see how they do today. All right, we have sunspot built very small, and uh, we haven't set a striker, so he doesn't have all that extra focus and no taunts which is a good thing that's one thing that the passive brings from sunspot we didn't have to worry about we would have to worry about this taunt from absorbing man at the end here all right now we get some damage it won't be a lot of damage because he's built very small we're working on dormammu all right that works good we can do the big ultimate from cyclops There's a lot of man and dormammu almost dead this guy's almost dead as well the quicksilver all right we use a special here on Quicksilver in the middle. Dormammu almost dead. Big threat that we have to worry about is still Dormammu. Oh, I guess not. Not Dormammu anymore. Apocalypse still doing work. Our extreme X-Men going very, very fast. And we have to start to build up more charges on this guy. Sunspot. All right. And let's use the big ultimate from Gambit. We do, have, we do need to watch our ability energy. We don't have Archangel anymore. He was the one feeding us ability energy, giving our cooldowns all set up for the next node. We'll get some of that back. We do have one charge on Sunspot right now. Apocalypse still has not taken a turn yet. Let's use the ultimate for Nightcrawler. We get rid of a few of the enemies. We still have to worry about ours. Uh, Quicksilver. Let's use the special here instead of the ultimate. We, go. we take out Gwenpool for the first time. There goes... Our main threat that we were worried about. Still have a revive once here on Deathpool. I guess it didn't get cleared with the ultimate for Cyclops. All right, and Aqua's taking some damage. We still have the ultimate ready for the next node. And I think I'm going to wait on the special from Cyclops. We're going to start to save some cooldowns here for the next node. Oh, I really want to use that. Let's, let's go ahead and use this special here. Give him some charges. Yes, and those charges should persist between nodes. Giving more ability energy for the rest of the uh, X-Men. All right. And we have that down. I think we, let's work on Death Pool. And we're still going to wait and use the special. Or we use the basic there. There we go. Gwen Pool still a threat. Does not do damage to uh, Sunspot there. That is the one that we would worry about. Sunspot and Nightcrawler. Very, very small. All right. Sunspot did die, unfortunately. Can't take a lot of damage yet, but... This battle is going pretty smooth, except for that death of Sunspot. We do need to revive him, bring him back up. 
so that we can get those charges. And I think those charges will persist through death. I guess we're going to see at this point. All right, and we can auto basic right now. Just saving ability energy, saving cooldowns. Would be nice to get more charges on Sunspot, unfortunately, with a big death there. That should, that problem should go away once he's built up a little bigger, but he's very, very tiny for this, this uh, end game raid that we're doing right now. All right, so we're gonna have to revive him for the next node. All right, he did bring something to the battle. That offense up immediately and that taunt. The enemies can't taunt. All right, we've healed him up. All right, no taunt from Red Guardian. That is one good thing that uh, Sunspot brings. Let's get everybody slowed with the big ultimate from Red Guard or from Nightcrawler. All right, he goes after Sunspot. He does survive, though, and the charges do persist. Let's get the big ultimate from Gambit. Do want to try to take out Kang or maybe Weaver there? All right, let's. It's time to use the big ultimate from Sunspot. Big AOE does no damage. Maybe we shouldn't have used that from that counter attack from Red Hog. Fortunately, though, does not do too much damage. All right, we take out most of the field there. Unfortunately, uh, not going to get time to get our cooldowns back. Hopefully, these charges on Sunspot's enough. All right, and we do have the ultimate from. Apocalypse ready for that final boss node. All right, so now we're in the boss node. We will heal up Sunspot and Cyclops just because they are low health. And I want to get this a better test. All right, so we've healed them up. We're going to the boss node. We weren't able to one-shot this yesterday, so the results without Sunspot and with Sunspot are pretty much the same at this point. We did have to heal up Sunspot because he did die on that first node. And that is one concern at this low health. He is a little lower health, so... Uh, he could die from one shot that he won't die from as you build this character up. But let's go into this last fight, see if we get a little further, see if with this four-piece team can beat this last boss. All right, so here's the final test. Beta Red build, not taunting. Not going to get any taunts. Let's get some slows on all the enemies. And I do love these charges from Sunspot, giving them all this ability energy, and his ultimate is almost ready. Let's work in this section with Kid Loki. Any of these adjacent targets, Beta Ray, Bill, Falcon there, Orson and the ultimate for Sun for Cyclops is almost ready as well. The only if he'd only didn't die in that first note, he would have had a few extra charges there. And these charges, 12 charges remain. Let's go with this big ultimate here. Should take out Falcon. Kid Loki, almost dead. Both of them almost dead. One is in the red, one is in the yellow. Uh dodge that sunspot. Yes, all right. We need you to dodge. We got that big. A retaliation we could hopefully take out beta ray bill at this point and we are getting a lot further than we did yesterday all right beta ray bill going down not gonna be able to taunt oh it does not go down apocalypse goes down though oh gambit goes down team loki throws everything off all right uh let's go after beta ray bill we did get beta ray bill down we did get one of the team loki's down yesterday with archangel all right we need some damage here from sunspot team loki Oh, that was the, that is who we needed to take out. All right, so we got one of them down. All right, we don't have Beta Ray build down yet. We do have almost the second Team Loki down, though. So this experiment, I'd say, I'd say even though we're not going to beat this boss node because we don't, we lost two of our key members. Gambit is one of the big key members on our team. I'd say that Sunspot is pretty impressive. Yeah, he's just a little too low for this level of the raids, but I would say that this this, this test is, is a pretty good test. As we build him up more, level 95, put a little bit more gear on him, put a little more stars on him, I think we will do uh, get some good results in these raids, and this four-piece team will be very good. We just need a little bit more survivability. And uh, yes, if we, if we had our ultimates available on turn one, as if, if Sunspot survived on that first node, We've had a lot of our ultimates available on turn one from our extreme X-Men and this fight could have went a lot different. So I'd say I'd say it's a success, but at the low, low levels, Sunspot is not going to make a huge difference in the raids, especially if you have a big Archangel compared to that low level Sunspot. I wasn't sure what to exactly expect from that low level Sunspot. I was hoping that they would do better than a three piece team of Gambit, Nightcrawler and Cyclops, along with Archangel and Apocalypse. 
Well, that team did a little better, but I'm thinking once our sunspot gets built up a little bit more and can survive that first node, give them the additional charges and allow the extreme X-Men to do all of their ultimates on the turn one of that boss node, I think the team will do a little better. I think they did a little better as that four piece team uh, on that first and second node, but the boss node, that three piece team did do very, very well. But yeah, I'm, I'm happy with Sunspot. I don't think you need Forge, at least at this levels of the Incursion Raids right now. I think eventually you will need Forge. And if you do want to sim these Incursion Raids, the Mutant sections right now, I think you would need Forge for that as well. And hopefully this video did help you figure out one way or the other what you want to do with Sunspot, what you want to do with Forge. If this video did help you, leave it a like. It is free for you and it helps out the channel tremendously. And if you want to check out what are the best characters of farm going into 2024, check out the video up there and I will see you guys next time. Have a great rest of your day. Hulk fist bump, Valley Flying, out.